Little one is on me. All right, big one is coming. Big one is coming. All right, folks, so out on the boat here by myself, yet another solo mission. But today, today's gonna be a little bit different. Teddy scene, we have a little bit of a specific run today. So I spoke to Reese a couple of days ago, and apparently, for those of you who don't know, Reese is a commercial diver. And apparently the boat that he's been working on has a few cobia by it. Now he says majority of them are kind of small, but there's one significant size one. So, a little bit of history with me and Cobia, decent sized ones anyway. I've had a, a pretty bad history of pretty much all significant Cobia I've ever hooked in my entire life, which hasn't been a lot, it's just been several, maybe somewhere between six and eight of them, between 20 to 40 pound size. They've all got no weight, all of them. And if you don't believe me, here's footage of one. Oh, wow. Oh, Cobia, Cobia. Real nice cobia. Come on, this is exactly what I came in for. Hit it, hit it. Oh my gosh, he doesn't want it. He does not. You all see that cobia? Y'all, the cobia doesn't want it. Oh my god. I came here to catch his fish and he doesn't want it. I can't believe this. I can't believe he's just there. He may bite it. Oh! Oh my god, he bit it. I have to go wrong. So you see, I have a pretty bad track record right now. Reese has got a couple nice ones, a few of my friends got a couple nice ones, but I have unfortunately only caught, like my biggest is probably 10, 12 pounds. So I'd really like to get, you know, a 30, 40 pound there in a boat and you know, take it up to eight, why not? So today I'm heading out solo. Unfortunately, Reese couldn't make this morning. It's gonna be a little bit tricky if I do hook one of those fish and get them both side because cobia tend to be very challenging to get on the boat once they reach next to the boat. They give that last little uh, burst of energy, just never seems to end. I guess it's not really a burst of energy. I have a small gaff here, gonna see if I can make it work. If not, uh, we'll see how it goes. Got you guys on the next cast. So let's see if they have any cobia. The thing about this is that when you hook a cobia or a decent sized cobs, you need to get them off of the structure and that could be challenging to say the least. You'll see how it goes. Using a strategic angler naya. Now I'm a little bit closer than I want to be, but I'll drifting alongside I could see better but problem is my fish don't have to run far to get to the structure What are you seeing there? Cod fish, huh? Ready? This morning? He said he was seeing some cobia. There's a small, oh, there's a couple of cobia here. That's a good one down there. I don't know if y'all can see it.
not big but fun size maybe like a 15 pounder Oh, 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 where's the good one? Not seen any good ones. A couple Kobe and they both they're very they're small. There's like three or four of them under there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but not really keep in size. I'll see if I catch one for you guys to see. So this is probably a little bit big for them. I'll use a bullet. The bullet should be able to do the trick. I don't know where they went. Ah, there they are. Let's see if I get one of these small ones there. Should get one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> This is some really tiny cobia. Let's see if I get one. I should be able to. Look how small they are. They're like puppies. <laughs> Hungry pups. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Bite it, bite it, bite it, bite it, bite it. <laughs> that is a tiny cobia, y'all. Think about cobia is that they have this never ending energy so like they'll fight oh came off <laughs> let me see if i get another one to show you oh oh there's a nice kobe i can see him right up on top he's turning he's going out all right he's coming Come on, come on. Oh no, the little one is on me. All right, big one is coming. Big one is coming. Good fish. Oh no, come on, turn him. Good fish, very good fish. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm gonna stop this fish. See if I start the boat. Resource right on the Naya one theater. Good fish. Let's come off of the ship to give us some more space. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. I'm gonna back off the drag a little bit. It's because we're having more fish structure. Well done, Reese. I may have to give you a piece of this fish if I keep it. You. All right, we're good. Off the structure anyway. You see how he's hooked? Oh, he's hooked good. That was a beautiful fish. <sighs> yes, y'all. This is my biggest cobia. And you know I want it, eh? I'm gonna see if I can garf it. This is where the drama starts if you'll if you're ever used to catching cobia. This is where it becomes a little bit more difficult. See if I get him to turn. Don't give me too much trouble. I have a very short garf. It's a handmade garf by Gregory Joseph. 
<laughs> All right. I've had a longer gaff, I might have been able to hit him there, but looks like we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Now, I could release this fish, but it's been a long time since I caught something to take home and eat, folks. So, I'm gonna have to make this one count for the pot. All right. He's not ready to come just yet. The guy did say he's like, you're a little bit late, the Kobe moved off, but I was not late. I was right on time. For the cobs. See, this is what I'm telling you about cobia. They just, they'll just sit down here and just fight until they have nothing left. He's just under the boat here. Right, let's see if I get my gaff shot now with this very short gaff. Nope. Not gonna be able to reach it. See, this is why you need a long gaff for the boat, folks. That's exactly why you need a long gaff for the boat. Well, having a long rod doesn't make it easy either. <laughs> Gotta love a cobia fight. Not that I have a whole lot of experience with it, but I get to see it a lot. <laughs> Sceneries catch a couple of fish. I haven't been so lucky. This is definitely uh, my biggest cobia. Honey leader, so I'll call it a caught fish, but you know, it's not a caught fish unless it's on the boat when you're trying to keep fish. All right. Small one is still following him around. Well, that's what you get, folks, for not having a long enough <laughs> gaff. I mean, it was a fun fight, but I like to put it on the boat. I was, I was going to take it on to eat. <laughs> I thought the hook was in there pretty good, but um, I guess I was wrong. Did get that gaff opportunity a couple times. What do you want me to say? We have to do something else. <laughs> I guess uh, my biggest landed cobia would um, come on another day. Just not today. I have terrible luck with this stuff. Let's go. All right, folks. Came out with a plan. Executed the plan. Seems like everything was going a-okay. And then, and then he cobia curse. It's just following me around. I can't beat them. I can't get a nice cobia in the boat. What is going on? <laughs> anyway, I want to take my loss like a big man. I'll come back out stronger next time. And hopefully you'll be around to see me land that cobia. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I can't believe I lose that cobia, boy. I can't. I can't believe I lose that cobia, boy. I can't believe that. That would have been my personal best. So hard. I, I worked so hard to get that fish. I'm going to blame Reese for this, you know. Reese should have been on the boat. <laughs> Reese should have been on the boat. <laughs> Reese should have been on the boat. <laughs> this thing's still recording.